Greetings and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey. This is your weekly oracle card reading for December the 2nd through December the 8th of 2019. Let's bring our bell for spirit. Please step forth. This is the this reading. Let's cleanse these cards. I hope everyone out there is having a beautiful, wonderful week. First week in December. So we're going to see... What messages and energies are coming through this week? And I will be drawing the usual three cards. So you can um, pick a card or listen to all three messages. Be sure to check out Crystal Wind. This is the Crystal Wind Oracle Deck by Antonio De Liberato. The artwork is by Lisa Iris. And it's in the description box below. If you'd like to have this deck or just check out their website tons and tons of information so what is going on for a new month a new week the last month in this year wow Card number two and card number three. So just relax, take a deep breath, clear your mind, and choose a card. And we're going to see what messages are coming through for this week, the first week in December. Isis. I can't read that upside down. In, in Egyptian mythology, Isis is the matrix of the eternal life. I always wanted to go to Egypt. I always wanted to see the, go to the pyramids. I know we have pyramids here in the United States, which there's pyramids all over the world. <clears throat> in different places. But I just wanted to go to, to Egypt. You guys ever wanted to go to Egypt? And I wanted to go see the Pompeii. So this is Isis, mother, wife, and goddess of the Nile. In Egyptian mythology, Isis is the matrix of eternal life. The Egyptian goddess Isis is the goddess of fertility. She is the guardian of the dead. And she has powerful magical abilities, including the ability to heal people. Isis is also the patron of mothers and nature as well as the protector of children, slaves, artists, <clears throat> and artists. Historically, the goddess was often associated with the moon, which sometimes appeared in the represent representation of her typically held in a headdress that also includes, that included the horns of a cow. She got that on. Yeah, she's got that on. You can see that. The very top. Well, I can read it now. Okay. <clears throat> Get back. So the expanded meaning with this card is you should reflect on the feminine aspects that influence your life. This could mean you need to connect with your mother or someone that represents the mother figure. You should also connect with your sister, mother, or wife and spend some quality time with them. If you are in spirit, if they are in spirit, you can reach out to them and ask them for balance and guidance. Those are, there are those around you that see you as a provider of balance and nurturing. So, uh, the card is speaking on <clears throat> uh, reaching out to your mother, embracing your um, feminine aspects or energy and we all have that um feminine feminine and masculine and for guys if you did choose this card i mean besides reaching out to your mother this is um get in touch with your feelings you know don't be ashamed to show your feelings how your feelings don't suppress your feelings or emotions always never suppress anything it will grow and blister until it becomes infested 
and and then one day it explodes so never hide your feelings but it's speaking on connecting with your mother you know um <clears throat> with your wife also um, your sisters making that connection if there's any bond that has been broken any connection that has been broken now is the time to reach out and mend that guys and girls if you're doing working with the moon um, now is the time to work that moon magic during your your spells during the moon the phases of the moon um, Isis is also um, representing you know a goddess of fertility so this may be a good time for those that want to get you know have kids babies to become pregnant also feel like this is a good time for businesses um, employment money to really you know be there if you're looking for a job you're gonna be able to find that employment during this time <clears throat> if you own a business i feel like sales are really going to pick up so there's going to be more money coming in in your hand more money for your bank account so and if you're definitely looking for a job go you can definitely get a job this time of the year you can definitely get hired so um Definitely get out there and start looking. So this is also speaking on um, just working your magic. Working with your magic. Working with Isis. Some people like to work with Isis. Some people can feel like a, a connection with Isis. Um, just reaching out. And it doesn't have to be your mother <coughs> or your sister or your wife. If there's any broken relationships, guys, mend those relationships. I don't care who it's with. Now is the time to, um, you know, connect so both parties can heal. Especially before we're going into this 2020, which is um, loaded with all types of new energy. If that loved one has passed over, if your mom has passed over, you know. You know, I don't have to tell you, they are always with us and they hear everything. So you can just say it to them just exactly like you were speaking to a friend or anyone else that is in a physical avatar or body or vessel. You can talk to them the same way because they are right there. Um, and you can ask for forgiveness. You can mend, you know, the relationship and... You know, that helps them too. So let's see what we've got for number two. Perseus. Assume responsibility. We've definitely had this one before. I just want to see what the book has to say about Perseus. A call to action. A lot of people are being called you know to action on a spiritual level so this is all about uh, assuming responsibility Perseus was a demigod of Zeus and Diana and one of the only heroes in Greek mythology to have a happy ending Perseus is the best known is best known for his clever uh, decapitation of Medusa whose glaze turned people to stone he also rescued Andromeda from the Kraken Sea monster, like most of the mythological heroes, the genealogy of Perseus makes him the son of God and a mortal. As you are also a child of God and Earth, you will be tested in the process of helping others. You help yourself and become the hero of the story. So the expanding meaning with this card is keep your cake nearby. You are someone's hero. You may be asked to step in and help manage a situation. You could be summoned to provide support for the elderly or young. Or speak on someone's behalf. Loved ones feel reassured when you are near. Protect yourself from um, enmeshment, battle, fatigue, and the savior symptom syndrome. 
pace yourself and use your will and determination to achieve the best outcome for all concerned. So this is a call to action. This is like taking responsibility for yourself. But you may see injustice, you know, with someone else. And that's going to make um, you feel like you, you got a call to action. Maybe you need to step in and speak up for someone in the neighborhood, elderly, children, um, animals, <clears throat> you know, whatever it may be. You may feel like you are in Perseus shoes. It's time to assume that responsibility for yourself, not only for other people, but for yourself. This is all about standing in your truth and being authentic and speaking in speaking your truth. You know, speak it. If you feel like someone's in, being unjust to you, not being fair to someone else, speak your truth. Um, you may be called in as a, mod, um, a mediator between two groups. You know, it could be with family, could be at work. You may have to listen to two sides of the story. You know, whatever it is, make sure you are standing up, speaking your truth, and doing what's right for possible outcome <clears throat> or judgment for everyone involved. So let's see what we got for number three. I'm getting a little hoarse. <clears throat> the Angel of Dialogue guys don't pay no attention to my nails I'm about to take this polish off um, an angel wears a crown of human symbols of divinity so an angel of dialogue Let's see what the book has to say about the angel of dialogue and this is all about spiritual harmony an angel wears a crown of human symbols for divinity an angel represents qualities virtues and powers of the creator in their purest form if you can hear little footsteps that's Tristan my Jack Russell the angel is pure energy on a vast vast vibration that is essentially invisible to the human eye angels or angelic patterns are however capable of slowing down the vibration to appear to either the naked human eye which is rare but you know we can see some some can see or the third inner eye angels are messengers of higher realms spiritual beings that are closer connected to source energy and the original blueprint than humans angels can connect with you here on earth when you're ready to connect angelic contract has been initiated mostly by you you have to ask for it, although there are times they will contact you to send you a powerful, important message. And we know, guys, we're getting those messages all the time if you're you're paying attention when you're looking for the signs. So the expanding meaning here is you are ready for an open-minded exchange of ideals. Um, you are about to overcome conflict and discrimination. You have the ability to synthesize what is valuable from diverse perspectives. The desire to find common ground and peace of the most fundamental level. It's time for you to connect with your guardian angel. So, what I'm getting from this card is that some of you are already receiving the signs. You know, we, we receive the signs. You know what the are numbers. Um, deja vu, coins, feathers, just out of the blue, you know, things of that nature. So they're already trying to connect with you. And if you want to connect, you have to be, make the initiative and say, yes, I want to connect to my guardian angel. The one that is around me now. And they will really connect with you. Be sure you are have, have an open mind, you know, when you're doing this. And for those that are been going through troubling times, troubling times, you know, your guardian angel, they're there to surround and protect you. But in this game, we have to go through these experiences or these contracts that don't feel so good sometimes. But know that they are there. So if you're having any difficulties, know that those are going to dis uh, dissipate. They're going to be moving out. The obstacles are going to be moving away. 
So that new energy, um, new doors opening, new opportunities are going to be coming in. They're telling you to stay the course. You know, don't don't give up. Don't get frustrated. They are always there with you, holding your hand, whether you can feel it or see it. They are always there. So don't give up. Um, things are going to get better. And they want you to connect with them. So guys, I'm going to leave it with that. <clears throat> My throat is getting a little bit sore. So I do apologize for a short reading. Um, hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friends, and namaste.